What's up guys? So for today, we're going to be restoring this Honda GX160 motor to put in my mini bike. I picked this up for 40 bucks from a neighbor and as you can see, it's got some interesting modifications and definitely going to need some work. So, the um, reason I'm working outside, at least for this first part, is I need to get all this old gas out of here and get this motor stripped down. So I think that's going to be the first thing I do is strip this motor down and see what we're working with.
So, I've got the engine block all cleaned up and the side cover. Um, these are all the parts. I ended up changing from the black color I was original I was originally going to use to a uh, nice gloss red. I don't know if it turns out very well on camera, but that looks pretty decent for rattle can. But this is our table of parts that we're getting ready to put on here. We've got a new 14cc cylinder head. The old one, the intake bolts have been stripped out and cross threaded and I just didn't even feel like messing with it. So went ahead and bought a new one. They're cheap enough. We've got a flat top piston, carburetor kit, exhaust, muffler, new pull start because the old one was all torn apart. And yeah, I think it's about time we get this thing back together. May have forgot to mention that we also got some 1.3 ratio rockers and some 18 or maybe 22 pound valve springs to stick in this head as well. I'm also considering doing a light port job on the cylinder head. We'll see if I feel like it. But uh, yeah, let's start getting everything together. Alright, so uh, I already pulled the stock rockers out of here. You can see the difference in the length and where the push rod goes on these 1.3 ratio rockers versus the stock rockers. Um, valve springs are real easy to change. Pretty much just gonna, if you got thumb strength, just push down, push that keeper over. Do the same on the exhaust side here. We've got our upgraded valve spring so you can see the difference pretty easily. Same process for installing versus taking them off real easy. Same process for the exhaust side here. Again, whoops, valve slid down that time. If you need to, you can support your valve from the bottom with your finger. But real easy, got those on there. Um, next, we're going to have to move this valve guide plate here because with these ratio rockers moving the rocker arms inward, they do not line up. So we're going to have to pull that rocker or that push rod guide plate out. Next, we're going to go ahead and swap our piston on to here. Real easy. Pull that circlip out. Slide your wrist pin out. Pull them old pistons off. Got our new piston here. All these circlips in. Alright, so we got the old piston off of there. Push the new C clip into this piston. Now, I'm just going to stick a little bit of oil. Pin. Again. Just work that in through here. Connecting rod. You know what? I think I put 
if I went backwards. Pretty sure the arrow points down. <clears throat> all right so i've got our high compression flat top piston uh on our rods and our rings on there so i get and then got our block all cleaned off i cleaned it off the best i could with a power washer i'm gonna go ahead and pull the seal out of this side replace that seal get our crankshaft in there and and then uh get our piston and connecting rod installed Like that, new crank seal is in. Got our crank shaft sitting right here. Make sure that's clean real quick. Crank shaft is in. Now we can get our piston and connecting rod in. We got a piston and our compressor. Our rings are clocked. Tighten that down with a little bit of the skirt shine. And you just want to feed this down in here. Where's my hammer? Just gonna tap the edge of this just a hair to make sure it's flush with the surface. And take our rubber handle. Boom. There we go. Piston and rings are installed. Alright, so we've got Crankshaft in there, connecting rod, piston, all that. All we gotta do now is torque down these rod bolts uh, and then start getting our camshaft and everything in there. <coughs> all right, so <clears throat> got our camshaft, lifters, uh, connecting rod is torqued down. You see how much compression this piston is gonna give us. This is actually uh, got a higher compression height than your normal 
uh, flat top Honda piston. This is the one off of uh, Go Power Sports. So hoping that clears everything, but got it all torqued down. Pretty sure all I got to do now is slap the side cover on, put the push rods in, and slap the head on. Okay, so I've got the uh, side cover all on here, everything torqued down, got the cylinder head on. I ended up uh, swapping out the push rod guide plate from the original uh, Honda GX160 uh, cylinder head onto here. Uh, I couldn't modify the other one to work, uh, it just was not really working out. So I went ahead and used this, didn't need any modification with these 1.3 ratio rockers. Got the valve lash all set. I think now all we got to do is uh, start putting on our flywheel side covers and bolting on all the accessories. So here is the finished and restored Honda GX160 motor. Turned out looking pretty good I would say. But uh, we got our High compression flat top piston in there, 14cc, high compression head, uh, stronger valve springs, ratio rockers, uh, 22 millimeter carburetor with the intake and an exhaust, nice cool paint job. I'd say the engine turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, paint job turned out okay. I tried the black originally and you can see right here everything, it just did not, it was a probably a four-year-old can of paint. I don't know why I tried to use it, but it did not stick. I did not feel like sanding it over, and that's where the red came over. Red came from. Turned out pretty good, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, stick around, check out the next video. In the next video, we're going to be swapping this onto my Coleman CT100U mini bike. Nice little upgrade from the three horsepower motor that's on there now. Um, thank you for watching. If you can, uh, I would definitely appreciate a subscription. Uh, or subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.